Fight back, defend yourself or resist an attack or challenge. I heard you had a disagreement with the project manager in the meeting. How did it go? Yeah, it got a bit heated. I had to fight back and defend my team's position on the budget cuts. That sounds tough. How did the project manager react when you fought back? Initially, there was some resistance, but I presented the data and argued our case. Eventually, they had to reconsider the proposed cuts. Good for you. It's important to fight back when necessary, especially for the team's well-being. Absolutely. If we don't fight back in these situations, it sets a precedent, and it could impact the project in the long run. I agree. It's crucial to stand your ground and fight back when it's about defending what's right for the project and the team. It wasn't easy, but I couldn't just let it slide. We had to fight back to ensure concerns were heard and addressed. Well, I appreciate your dedication to the team. Sometimes, you have to fight back to maintain the integrity of the project. So far, so good. Hey, how's everything going with your new job? It's been pretty great, actually. So far, so good. That's awesome to hear. What do you like most about it? Well, the team is fantastic, and the work is challenging but exciting. Plus, the company culture is a perfect fit for me. Sounds like you hit the jackpot with this job. I really think I did. And how about you? How's life treating you? You know, it's been a bit hectic, but honestly, so far so good. That's the spirit. What's been keeping you busy? Mostly family stuff and some personal projects. But overall, I can't complain. Sometimes, a little chaos is a sign that you're moving forward, right? Exactly. It's all part of the journey. And speaking of journeys, any travel plans coming up? Not yet, but I'm hoping to take a vacation soon. Maybe a beach getaway. Ah, that sounds like a dream. Well, keep me posted. So far, so good for both of us, it seems. Absolutely. Here's to the good times continuing. Opening an account. I'd like to open a new savings account. Sure, I can help you with that. Do you have all your identification documents with you? Yes, I have my driver's license and a recent utility bill. Great, we'll need to fill out some paperwork. Have you decided on the type of savings account you want? I was thinking of a basic savings account with no monthly fees. What do you recommend? Our regular savings account would be a good fit. It has no monthly fees, and you earn interest on your balance. I'll get the forms for you. Sounds good. By the way, 
Do you offer online banking services? Absolutely. Once your account is set up, you'll have access to our online banking platform for easy account management. Perfect. I prefer managing things online. Also, are there any minimum balance requirements? For the regular savings account, there's a minimum balance of $100 to avoid a low balance fee. Does that work for you? That's fine. Let's go ahead with that. Excellent. I'll just need your signature here and here. Welcome to our bank, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Run down, criticize or degrade someone or something. Have you seen the new hire's performance lately? Yeah, I have. Honestly, I was going to talk to you about it. I hate to say it, but I think we need to run them down during the next team meeting. I've noticed it too. The quality of work is just not up to par, and it's affecting the whole team. Exactly. It's not personal, but we need to address the issue before it becomes a bigger problem. I agree. Maybe we can run down specific examples without being too harsh. Constructive criticism, you know. Yeah, that's a good approach. We want them to improve, not feel attacked. Let's be tactful about it. And we should also offer support. Maybe there's a reason for the decline in performance, and they might need help or guidance. True. I don't want it to come off as just running them down without offering solutions. Let's be proactive in finding ways to help them improve. Agreed. We'll address it in the meeting. And hopefully, things will turn around for the better. Let's do it. Hey, I was thinking about going on a road trip this weekend. What do you say? Let's do it. That sounds like an awesome idea. Great. I was thinking of heading to the mountains. There are some beautiful trails up there. Perfect. I've been itching to get outdoors and do some hiking. We can pack some sandwiches, snacks, and drinks. It'll be a picnic too. Sounds like a plan. I'll bring my camera. I heard the views up there are breathtaking. Awesome. It's going to be a day to remember. We'll have some epic photos to look back on. And maybe we can even catch the sunset if we time it right. That's a fantastic idea. It'll be the perfect way to end our adventure. I can't wait. This spontaneous road trip is going to be a blast. It's always the unplanned adventures that turn out to be the most memorable. Absolutely. Let's make some memories this weekend. So, it's a plan then? We're doing it. No doubt about it. Let's do it. A rolling stone gathers no moss. A person who keeps moving or changing is less likely to become stagnant or stuck in one place. You know, I've been thinking about my career lately, and I can't help but feel like I should stay in one job for a long time. Well, that's one perspective. 
But remember the saying, a rolling stone gathers no moss. True, but I worry that if I keep changing jobs, it might look like I lack commitment or stability. That's a valid concern. But there's also a lot to be said for gaining diverse experiences and skills through different roles. I see your point. It's just that sometimes I envy people who have been with the same company for years, climbing the ladder steadily. That can be a rewarding path for some, but it's not the only path to success. It really depends on your goals and values. I suppose you're right. I just need to find the right balance between stability and growth. Exactly. It's important to find what works best for you and your career. Sometimes staying in one place can gather moss and other times being a rolling stone can keep you agile and adaptable. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind as I make my decisions. You're welcome. Just remember, there's no one size fits all answer to career choices. Find what works best for you and your goals. Paying a bill. Hey, do you have cash for the lunch bill? Or should we split it on cards? I've got cash. How much is it? It's $32.50 in total, so we each owe $16.25. Cool, here's a 20. Keep the change. Thanks. I'll cover the tip with it. By the way, did you enjoy the meal? Yeah, it was great. This place never disappoints. Agreed. Anyway, let's leave the cash on the tray, and I'll take care of the card payment. Sounds good. Do you want me to leave my receipt for you? No, I'm good. You can keep it for your records. I'll just add the tip to the card. Alright, thanks for handling it. No problem. We should do this again sometime. Definitely. Maybe next time it's my treat. Sounds like a plan. Thanks again for lunch. Anytime. Take care. It's a win-win situation. You know, this deal is a win-win situation. I couldn't agree more. It's like we're both getting exactly what we want. The merger benefits both our companies. We'll expand our market share, and your team gets access to cutting-edge technology. And not to mention the cost savings from the synergies. It's a financial win for us. Right and our employees will have opportunities for professional growth. It's a win for our teams. Plus, it's a win for the customers. They'll have a broader range of products and services to choose from. I've been through mergers before, and I must say, this one has been surprisingly smooth. Agreed. The open communication and collaborative approach have made a significant difference. It's refreshing to see our teams working so well together. I have to say, I was initially skeptical about this merger, but it's turning out to be a win-win for everyone involved. Well, it's a testament to good planning and a shared vision. I'm glad we're both on the same page. Absolutely. Let's make this merger a success story for both of our companies. It's a big deal.
you seem pretty excited. What's going on? Well, you won't believe it, but I just got promoted at work. It's a big deal. That's incredible news. Congratulations. You must be over the moon. I really am. I've been working so hard for this, and it's finally paid off. What's the new role? Tell me more. I'll be the new project manager for a major client. It's a huge responsibility, but I'm ready for the challenge. That's a significant step up. Your dedication and skills have clearly impressed your superiors. Thanks, I couldn't have done it without the support and mentorship from great colleagues like you. I'm thrilled for you. You've earned this opportunity, and I'm sure you'll excel in your new role. I'm feeling a mix of excitement and a bit of nervousness, to be honest. Nerves are natural, especially with something as big as this. But remember, you're more than capable, and I have no doubt you'll thrive. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm ready to take on this challenge and make the most of this big deal in my career. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. About what, exactly? You know, I can't put my finger on it, but something just doesn't seem right lately. Are we talking about your job, your relationship, or something else? It's a bit of everything, honestly. Work has been really stressful, and I can't shake this unease in my personal life. Have you tried talking to someone about it? Sometimes, just getting it off your chest can help. I've thought about it, but it's hard to put into words. It's like this nagging sense of uncertainty that won't go away. Maybe it's just a phase? Life has its UPS and downs, you know. Yeah, you're probably right. I should give it some time and see how things unfold. And don't forget, I'm here for you if you ever need to talk or need support. Thanks, I appreciate that. Your friendship means a lot. Anytime. Just remember feelings come and go, but true friends are always there. You're right, and I'm lucky to have you in my life. I'm not feeling myself today. Hey, is everything okay? You don't seem like yourself today. Yeah, I'm not feeling myself today. Just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, I guess. I understand those days, we all have them. Is there something in particular bothering you? It's just a combination of things, work stress, lack of sleep, and some personal stuff. It's been piling up. I'm here if you need to talk, or if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, I appreciate that. Maybe talking it out will make me feel better. That's what friends are for. Sometimes just sharing what's on your mind can lighten the load. It's just hard to shake this feeling, you know. I usually handle stress better. It's completely normal to have off days. Be gentle with yourself and take some time for self-care. You're right. I'll try to do that. It's just nice to have someone who cares to talk to. I'm always here for you, no matter what. We all have days when we're not feeling ourselves, and that's okay. Thanks, you're a true friend. Your support means a lot to me. A bitter pill to swallow, something unpleasant but necessary to accept. So, 
I had my performance review today. How did it go? It was a bitter pill to swallow. My boss said my work needs major improvements. Ouch, that's tough to hear. What specifically did they mention? They pointed out a few mistakes I've made recently, and they think my productivity could be better. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, sometimes constructive criticism, even if it's hard to take, can lead to growth. I understand that, but it's still hard to accept. I take pride in my work, and I hate feeling like I've let my team down. It's a tough situation, no doubt, but you've got a good work ethic, and I'm sure you can turn things around. Thanks for your support. I'm just not looking forward to the extra work to improve. I get it. It's not easy, but facing challenges head-on can be an opportunity for personal and professional development. You're right. I guess I just need to see it as a stepping stone rather than a bitter pill. That's the spirit. I know you'll bounce back from this and prove yourself. I appreciate your encouragement. It means a lot. I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. What happened? You seem so stunned. It's just that I got a call this morning and I found out on the lottery. Wait, you won the lottery? That's incredible. How much did you win? It's hard to believe, but it's a substantial amount. I never thought this would happen to me. Wow, that's amazing news. I can understand why you're at a loss for words. It's like a dream and I'm not sure how to react. It's such a game changer. I'm genuinely happy for you. This is life changing. Have you made any plans for the money yet? Not yet. I need some time to process all of this. It's overwhelming. Totally understandable. Take your time and think about how you want to use this opportunity wisely. I will, and I'm grateful for your support and understanding. You're welcome. And just remember, I'm here for you, no matter what. Thanks, it means a lot to me. This is truly a life-altering moment. It's a long shot. I've been thinking about applying for that job at the prestigious tech company. Really? That sounds amazing. But you do realize it's a long shot, right? Yeah, I know it's highly competitive, but I feel like it's the perfect fit for me. Well, I'm not saying you shouldn't go for it. It's just that they get thousands of applications and they're really selective. I'm aware of the ads. But I've been working on my skills and resume. I don't want to look back and wonder, what if? That's the spirit. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Exactly. And who knows, sometimes long shots pay off. You're right. It's not impossible. It's just important to be prepared for the process and the potential rejection too. I'll give it my best shot and if it doesn't work out, at least I'll have gained experience from the application process. That's the way to look at it. I'm rooting for you, and I hope it works out. Long shots sometimes become great stories of success. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. 
your side I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? You won't believe what just happened. I got the offer for that expedition to Antarctica. Wow, that's incredible. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How are you feeling? I'm on cloud nine. I've dreamed of exploring Antarctica since I was a kid. This is like a dream come true. It's going to be an amazing experience, but also a huge commitment. Are you ready for it? I've been preparing for this for years. I know it'll be challenging, but I'm more than ready to embrace the adventure. That's the spirit. Not many people get the chance to do something like this. It's truly extraordinary. I can't stop thinking about the stunning landscapes, the wildlife, and the scientific discoveries waiting for me. Just make sure to document every moment and take it all in. You'll have stories to tell for a lifetime. I will, and I'll carry all the hopes and dreams of everyone who's ever aspired to explore the untouched beauty of Antarctica. Your enthusiasm is infectious, and I'm so happy for you. This opportunity is beyond special, and I can't wait to hear all about your incredible journey. Thanks for your support. I'm ready to make the most of this once-in-a-lifetime adventure. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Pull through, recover from a difficult or challenging situation. I heard your brother was in the hospital. How's he doing? Yeah, it's been a tough week. He had surgery, but the good news is he's pulling through. That's a relief to hear. What happened? He had a car accident. It was touch and go for a while, but the doctors are optimistic now. The surgery went well. I'm really sorry to hear that. How are you holding up? It's been rough, but we're taking it one day at a time. The support from friends and family is helping us get through it. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thanks, I appreciate that. Right now, it's mostly a waiting game to see how he continues to pull through. I understand. It must be a roller coaster of emotions. Definitely. We're just grateful for the medical team and everyone's support. Hopefully, he'll be out of the woods soon. Sending positive thoughts your way. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thanks again for checking in. I can't wait to unwind this weekend. My veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots Hey, it's been a hectic week, hasn't it? Absolutely I can't remember the last time I was this swamped at work I hear you I can't wait to unwind this weekend Oh, tell me about it. Any special plans? Not really, just looking forward to some relaxation. Maybe catch up on some reading and binge watch a series. That sounds heavenly. I think I might go for a long hike and spend some quality time in nature. It's been ages since I did that. Nature sounds like a great idea too. We all need a break from the hustle and bustle. Absolutely. And you know what? A good home-cooked meal is in order as well. Something comforting. Couldn't agree more. I'm thinking of making my favorite comfort food, lasagna. Lasagna sounds amazing. 
Mind if I swing by for dinner? Of course not. The more, the merrier. Let's make it a weekend to remember. Awesome. I can't wait to unwind with good company and delicious food. Me neither. It's going to be the perfect escape from this crazy week. I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling... Let on, reveal or admit something, often unintentionally. I noticed you've been working on a secret project lately. What's it all about? Oh, Dad, I didn't mean to let on, but it's a surprise for the team. I was hoping to unveil it at the next meeting. A surprise? Now, I'm curious. Can you at least give me a hint? Well, without letting on too much, let's just say it's a new initiative to enhance collaboration and creativity within the team. That sounds exciting. Why all the secrecy, though? I wanted it to be a surprise for everyone. Sometimes, if you let on too early, it can take away from the impact. I get it now. Keeping it under wraps adds an element of anticipation. I won't press you for more details, then. Appreciate that. I'm putting the final touches on it, and I'm eager to see everyone's reaction when I finally let on about the project. I'm looking forward to it. The mystery is intriguing, and I'm sure the team will appreciate the surprise. Fingers crossed. I hope it lives up to the expectations once I let on about it. I have to mind my own business. Did you hear about that new hire? I heard they have quite the background. Yeah, I've heard some rumors, but I try to mind my own business when it comes to that stuff. I mean, it's hard not to be curious, right? It could affect the team dynamics. True, but we should give them a chance to show who they are without jumping to conclusions based on rumors. I suppose you're right. It's just that I like to know what's going on around the office. I get it, but there's a balance between staying informed and respecting people's privacy. You're right. I'll keep that in mind. It's just sometimes hard to resist the office gossip. Gossip can be tempting, but it's rarely beneficial. It's better to focus on our work and maintain a positive environment. Thanks for the reminder. I'll make an effort to mind my own business and stay out of the rumor mill. That's a good approach. It'll make for a more harmonious workplace and we'll avoid unnecessary drama. Set aside, reserve or save something for a later use. I've been meaning to talk to you about the project budget. How are we going to allocate funds for the marketing campaign? Good question. I think we should set aside a portion specifically for the online advertising and social media promotions. That makes sense. Those channels have been effective in the past. How much should we set aside for them? 
I'm thinking we set aside around 30% of the total budget. It gives us enough flexibility while ensuring we have a solid online presence. Agreed. And what about the remaining 70%? We should allocate 40% for traditional advertising like print and radio, and the remaining 30% for any unforeseen expenses or last-minute opportunities that might come up. That sounds like a well-thought-out plan. Let's set aside a meeting next week to present this budget proposal to the team and get their input. Definitely. I'll work on the detailed breakdown, and we can fine-tune it during the meeting. It's crucial that everyone is on board with how we're allocating the funds. Perfect. Looking forward to it. It's worth a shot. You know, I've been thinking about starting that new business. Oh, the one you were telling me about. The pet sitting service? Yeah, that's the one. I've been doing some research, and it seems like there's a demand for it in our area. Well, it's worth a shot, isn't it? You've got a real passion for animals, and you'd be your own boss. I just worry about the financial side of things. It's a big step. Of course, it's a risk, but if you don't try, You'll never know. You could start small, test the waters, and see how it goes. You're right. I can't keep putting it off. I'm going to start planning and save up some money. That's the spirit. And remember, I'll be here to support you every step of the way. Thanks. That means a lot. I appreciate your encouragement. No problem. You've got a great idea, and I believe in you. Sometimes, taking a chance is the only way to achieve your dreams. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I have to pull some strings. I heard you're trying to get tickets to that sold-out concert next week. Is it true? Yeah, I really want to go, but all the tickets are gone. I might have to pull some strings to make it happen. Pull some strings? How do you plan to do that? Well, I have a friend who knows someone working for the event organizer. I'm hoping they can help me secure a couple of tickets. That sounds like a long shot, but if it's your only chance, I guess it's worth a try. I know it's a bit unconventional, but I'm really determined to see this concert. I can understand the excitement. It's one of those once-in-a-lifetime events. Exactly, and I don't want to miss out. If my friend can't help, I'll explore other options as well. Well, I hope you manage to pull those strings and enjoy the concert. Just be prepared for any consequences that might come with it. Thanks, I appreciate your support. I'll do my best to make it happen. It's a pleasure doing business with you. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. I must say, 
This collaboration has been incredibly smooth and beneficial for both our companies. Absolutely. Your team's dedication and the quality of your products have exceeded our expectations. We've been equally impressed with your professionalism and the way you handle negotiations. It's been a win-win partnership. Well, it's all about mutual respect and finding common ground. We share the same values. True, and it's refreshing to work with a company that values integrity and transparency. Those values are the foundation of a long-lasting business relationship. Agreed. I can see this collaboration growing into something even more substantial in the future. We're definitely open to exploring new opportunities together. Let's keep this momentum going. That's the spirit. Let's continue to innovate and support each other in achieving our goals. I look forward to it. Here's to our continued success. Cheers to that. It's a pleasure doing business with you. And I'm excited about our future endeavors. I can't think straight. Ugh, I can't think straight lately. What's going on? You seem really scattered. I've got so much on my plate. Work, family stuff, and personal things, it's overwhelming. I understand. Sometimes, it feels like our minds are in a million places at once. Have you tried any strategies to clear your head? I attempted to make lists and prioritize tasks, but even that feels confusing right now. Maybe you need a mental break. Sometimes, stepping away from it all for a bit can help you reset. I wish I could, but I have deadlines and responsibilities piling up. What about talking it out? Sharing your thoughts with someone might help you see things more clearly. You know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe if I talk to my supervisor about the workload, or chat with a friend about the personal stuff, it'll ease the mental fog. Exactly. Don't forget that you don't have to go through this alone. People around you can offer support and solutions. Thanks for listening and the advice. I'll give it a shot. It's reassuring to have someone to talk to when I can't think straight like this. Pay back, repay money or a favor to someone. Hey, remember that 20 bucks I lent you last week? Yeah, I do. I was just about to talk to you about that. I'm ready to pay you back. No rush, but I appreciate it. What happened? Well, I got my paycheck today, so I can finally settle up. Thanks for covering me. No problem at all. We've all been there. Just pay me back when you can. Actually, I was thinking of grabbing dinner this weekend as a way to say thanks. Are you free? That works for me. You don't have to do that, but I won't say no to a good meal. Consider it my way of paying you back and treating you. There's this new place downtown I've been wanting to try. Sounds great. Let's do it. And you don't have to worry about the money. I'm happy to help out when needed. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Looking forward to Saturday then. Me too. See you then. You're being ridiculous.
I can't believe they canceled the picnic just be because of a little rain. It's just water. Come on, you're being ridiculous. It's not just rain, it's pouring cats and dogs out there. Well, a little rain never hurt anyone. We could have brought umbrellas. Umbrellas? Have you seen the size of those raindrops? We would have been drenched in seconds. I just think we're all too dependent on perfect weather. Life's not always sunshine and rainbows, you know. True, but there's a fine line between being adventurous and being impractical. Picnicking in a downpour is definitely the latter. I guess you have a point. It's just that I was looking forward to it so much. I get it, but sometimes you have to roll with the punches. We can always reschedule the picnic for a sunnier day. Yeah, you're right. I suppose I was being a bit too stubborn about it. No harm done. Let's focus on finding something fun to do indoors instead. How about a board game night? Board games it is. Thanks for talking some sense into me. That's what friends are for. To keep each other from doing ridiculous things. Walking on eggshells, being very careful and cautious in a situation to avoid upsetting someone or causing conflict. I've noticed you've been a bit distant lately. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess I've just been dealing with some personal stuff. It's been making me feel like I'm walking on eggshells. I'm sorry to hear that. You know you can talk to me, right? I'm here to listen. It's just some family issues and it's complicated. I don't want to burden you with it. You're not a burden. I care about you, and if you ever want to talk, I'm here to support you. Thanks, I appreciate that. It's just hard to open up about it. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells even talking about it. I get it. It can be tough to broach sensitive topics. Take your time, and when you're ready, we can have that conversation. I'll think about it right now. I just need a bit of space to process everything. Of course. Do what you need to do. Just know that when you're ready, I'm here, and we can navigate those eggshells together. Thanks, it means a lot to me. Your support really helps, even when I'm feeling fragile. I have butterflies in my stomach. So, the big day is finally here. How are you feeling? I have butterflies in my stomach, to be honest. This presentation is a make or break moment for me. I totally get it, but you've prepared so well, and you're an expert in your field. You've got this. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but it's a high-stakes meeting, and I can't help but feel nervous. It's normal to have those jitters before something important. Just remember to take deep breaths and focus on your expertise. Your passion and knowledge will shine through. You're right. I've done all the groundwork. Now, it's time to deliver. And don't forget, that nervous energy can also be a source of motivation. It keeps you on your toes and sharp. I suppose you're right. I'll do my best to turn these butterflies into a source of strength rather than anxiety. That's the spirit. Trust yourself, stay confident, and soon those butterflies will fly away as you dive into your presentation. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll give it my all and hope for the best. It's the tip of the iceberg.
I heard about that data breach at the company. Is it as bad as they say? Well, what's been revealed so far is just the tip of the iceberg, to be honest. Yikes! How much more could there be? The initial investigation suggests that a lot more sensitive information may have been compromised, but we're still trying to assess the full extent of the breach. That's a massive concern. Are they taking immediate action to secure the data? Yes, they've beefed up cybersecurity measures. And there's a team working around the clock to trace the breach and minimize the damage. It's hard to imagine how something like this could happen. It's a wake-up call for sure. We need to be more vigilant and prioritize data security moving forward. I hope they can contain the situation and protect the affected individuals. Absolutely. We're doing everything we can to mitigate the consequences. But it's a stark reminder that data security is a never-ending battle. Let's hope this is the worst of it, and not just the beginning of more trouble. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. My allergies have been acting up today. I can tell. You've been sneezing a lot. Do you need any allergy medicine? I appreciate the offer, but I've already taken some. Hopefully, it kicks in soon. Allergies can be such a nuisance. Is there anything else I can do to help? Nah, I'll be fine. Just one of those days, you know? Absolutely. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, you're too kind. It's just one of those sneezy, itchy-eyed days. Well, I'm here if you need any assistance. And if it gets too bad, maybe consider closing the windows or using an air purifier. Good point. I'll do that. Thanks for looking out for me. Of course. Take care, and I hope your allergies calm down soon. Thanks again. You're a true friend. Anytime. Now, let's hope those allergies give you a break. Bus. Hey, did you manage to catch the bus on time? Yeah, just made it. The traffic was insane today. Tell me about it. I was stuck at the stop for ages. So, how's your day shaping up? Not bad. Got a lot of errands to run after work. You? Same here. And I've got that report due tomorrow. I'll be burning the midnight oil. Rough. Need a hand with anything. Now I've got it. Thanks, though. Oh, did you hear about the new bus route they're planning? No, what's changing? They're adding a direct route to the office. Should save us some time in the mornings. Finally, some good news. I'm tired of these transfers. When does it start? Next week, I think. I saw the announcement on their website. Nice. That'll be a game changer. Anyway, my stop's next. Catch you later. Sure thing. Have a good one. I have mixed feelings about it.
Have you heard about Jenny's plan to move to a different country? Yeah, I have, and honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. Really? Why is that? Well, on one hand, I'm happy for her because it's a fantastic opportunity for her career and personal growth. Exploring a new country can be so enriching. That's true. But what's the other side of your feelings? On the other hand, I'll miss her a lot. We've been close friends for years, and it's tough to imagine not having her around. Plus, it'll be harder to stay in touch with such a significant time zone difference. I can understand that. Change can be bittersweet, especially when it affects our close relationships. Maybe you could plan visits or set up regular video calls to stay connected. Yeah, we've talked about that. I guess it's just that initial uncertainty and the fear that things might change between us. Change can be scary, but it also opens new doors. I'm sure you both will adapt and your friendship will endure. Sometimes mixed feelings are a sign of something meaningful happening. You're right. I just need some time to adjust and process it all. Thanks for understanding. Of course. Anytime you want to talk, I'm here for you. Stand up for, defend or support a person or cause. Did you hear what happened to Sarah at the meeting yesterday? Yeah, it was pretty unfair. She made a valid point, and then the boss just shut her down. I know, right. I can't believe no one stood up for her. It was like everyone was afraid to challenge the boss. Well, it's not easy going against the higher UPS, but someone should have had her back. I agree. We can't let that kind of behavior go unchecked. Next time. I'm going to stand up for her and anyone else who's being treated unfairly. Count me in. It's important to create a supportive environment and make sure everyone's voice is heard. Exactly. If we don't stand up for each other, who will? And it's not just about Sarah. It's about creating a culture where everyone feels comfortable expressing their ideas without fear of retribution. Well said. Let's make a pact to stand up for our colleagues and what's right. It's the only way we can foster a healthy work environment. Agreed. We'll be a united front against injustice in the office. They're making so much noise. Hey, can you believe how loud it is in here? Seriously, it's like a cacophony of chaos. I can barely hear myself think. How can anyone have a conversation in this? I know, right? I was hoping for a quiet night out, but this is like a rock concert. Maybe we should find a spot away from those speakers. It might be a bit quieter. Good idea. Let's make a run for that corner booth. I need to go to the shops today. Hey, what's on your agenda for today?
Well, I need to go to the shops today. We're running low on groceries and a few oh, essentials. I feel you. I have a shopping list a mile long myself. It seems like we always need something from the store, doesn't it? Tell me about it. Do you have a strategy for tackling the shops? Yeah, I usually make a list to avoid any impulse purchases, and I try to go early to beat the crowds. That's smart. I tend to get sidetracked by all the displays and end up buying things I didn't intend to. It happens to the best of us. Are you planning to shop at your usual place? Probably, but I might check out that new supermarket that opened nearby. Heard they have some good deals. Nice. Variety is always good. Well, good luck with your shopping. And don't forget to grab a coffee to keep your energy up. Thanks, and same to you. Let's hope we find everything we need without too much hassle. Agreed. Happy shopping. Parking. Excuse me, is this your car? Yeah, that's mine. Any problem? No problem. I accidentally scratched it while trying to park. I'm really sorry. Let me take a look. Oh, I see. It's not too bad. Just a small scratch. Thanks for letting me know. I feel terrible about it. Can I cover the repair costs? No, don't worry about it. It's just a car and accidents happen. I appreciate you being honest about it. Still, I insist. I want to make it right. Well, if you're really insistent, maybe you can treat me to a coffee sometime. Call it even. That sounds fair. Coffee it is. Thanks for being cool about it. No problem. We all have those moments. By the way, do you know if this parking lot has a pay station or if it's free? I think it's free for the first hour, but after that, you might need to pay. There's a pay station near the exit. Got it. I'll check it out. Thanks again for being upfront about the scratch. No problem. Enjoy your day. Let me know if you need anything. It's been a tough week. I've got so much on my plate. I can see you're stressed. You know, you don't have to go through this alone. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. That means a lot. I've just got too many deadlines to meet, and I can't seem to catch a break. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, whether it's lending an extra hand or just being someone to talk to, don't hesitate to reach out. I appreciate that more than you know. Sometimes, it's the support of friends that gets you through the toughest times. Absolutely. We all have those moments when life feels overwhelming. You don't have to carry the burden alone. You're right. I should remember to lean on my friends when I need it. Thanks for being there. Of course, anytime. We're in this together, and I mean it when I say. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks again. It's reassuring to have friends like you. Under the weather, feeling unwell.
Hey, you don't look your usual self today. Is everything okay? Ugh, not really. I'm feeling under the weather. I think I caught a cold. Oh no, that's no good. Have you seen a doctor? Not yet, but I've been resting, drinking fluids, and taking over the counter medicine. It just hit me out of nowhere. Well, you should definitely consider seeing a doctor if it persists. Your health is important. Yeah, you're right. I was hoping it would pass, but it's been a couple of days now. Is there anything I can do to help? Thanks, but I think I just need some rest for now. I appreciate your concern. No problem. Just take it easy and get better soon. I'll try my best. I hate feeling under the weather. It's so frustrating. I know what you mean, but it's just a matter of time before you're back to your old self. Thanks for the encouragement. I hope you don't catch whatever I've got. Fingers crossed. Get well soon, and we'll catch up when you're feeling better. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, it really is. I've been grappling with this decision for days now. What's making it so difficult for you? Well, on one hand, if I take the job, it's a great career move with a higher salary. But on the other hand, I love my current job, and the people there are like family. I can see how that's a dilemma. Is the new job in the same field? No, it's in a completely different industry, and I'm not sure if I'll enjoy it as much as what I'm doing now. Change can be intimidating, for sure. Have you talked to anyone about it? I've discussed it with my friends and family, but their advice is split right down the middle. What does your gut tell you? My gut is equally divided. It's like an internal tug of war. Well, no matter what, I'm here to support your decision. Just remember, sometimes taking the tough path leads to the greatest rewards. Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'll make the call soon, one way or another. It's a game changer. Did you hear about the new technology they're implementing in our industry? It's a game changer. Yeah, I saw the news. It sounds incredible. How do you think it will impact our work? Well, it has the potential to revolutionize how we do things. The efficiency games alone are mind-blowing. It's like a whole new world of possibilities. That's exciting, but also a bit intimidating. I mean, We'll have to learn a whole new system, right? Absolutely, there will be a learning curve, but it's worth it. The benefits will far outweigh the initial challenges. I can see that. I suppose change is always a bit daunting, even when it's a game changer. True, but it's how industries evolve and stay competitive. Plus, it'll open up new opportunities for us and the company. You're right. I guess I just need to embrace it and get on board with the changes. That's the spirit. Let's support each other through this transition. It's a game changer, and together we can make the most of it. Agreed. Let's do this. Go ahead with, proceed or continue with a plan or action.
The team has reviewed the proposal and they're ready to go ahead with the project. What's the next step? That's great news. Now that we have the green light, we can go ahead with the implementation phase. I'll start coordinating the necessary resources. Perfect. I know there were some concerns raised during the review, but it seems like the majority is on board to go ahead with the plan. Yes, we addressed the concerns and made some adjustments to the timeline to accommodate everyone's input. Now, we're set to go ahead and move forward. Excellent. Once we go ahead with the project, let's make sure to communicate the timeline and milestones clearly to the entire team. Absolutely. Communication is key as we go ahead with the project to ensure everyone is on the same page and working towards the same goals. Also, we need to go ahead with scheduling regular progress meetings to track how things are going and address any issues that may arise. Agreed. Going ahead with regular check-ins will help us stay on track and make adjustments as needed. I'll start drafting the agenda for the first progress meeting. Sounds like a plan. Let's go ahead with the project and make it a success. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. You can't turn something of low quality into something high quality. I've been trying to help my cousin with his fashion sense, but it's not working. Well, you know what they say, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Yeah, I guess you can't change someone's style if they're not into it. Some people have their own unique sense of fashion, and it's hard to influence that. But I thought a little guidance could help them improve. It's great that you're trying to help, but sometimes, people are just comfortable with who they are. True, maybe I should let him be himself and not push too hard. That might be the best approach. After all, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. You're right. I'll back off and let him decide what he wants. That sounds like a good plan. Just be there to support him, no matter what. Thanks for the advice. Sometimes, I need a reminder about that old saying. You're welcome. It's a valuable lesson in acceptance and understanding. Set back, delay, or hinder the progress of something. How's the construction project going? Not great. We've encountered a few setbacks that are causing delays. What happened? I thought everything was on schedule. Well, we had some unexpected issues with the foundation. It's going to set us back by at least a couple of weeks. That's not ideal. How are we going to catch up? We're working on a revised timeline to see if we can make up for the setback in the later stages of the project. But it's going to be tight. Any additional costs involved? Unfortunately, yes. The extra work to address the foundation problems is going to set us back financially as well. Let's discuss it with the stakeholders and see how we can mitigate the impact. We can afford a significant setback in both time and budget. Agreed. I'll prepare a report outlining the issues and propose solutions. Hopefully, they'll understand the challenges we're facing. Keep me updated and let's address this setback head on. We need to get back on track as soon as possible.
Give in to, yield to temptation or pressure. I noticed you've been on a strict diet lately. How's it going? It was going well, but last night, I couldn't resist the temptation and gave in to a late night snack. Happens to the best of us. What was it that you gave in to? Ice cream. It was just sitting there in the freezer, and I couldn't resist the craving. Well, don't be too hard on yourself. We all give in to indulgences once in a while. I know, but I was doing so well. It's frustrating to give in to cravings like that. Remember, it's okay to give in occasionally. The key is not to let it derail your overall progress. You're right. I need to get back on track and not let one moment of weakness define my entire journey. Exactly. Giving in to a craving doesn't negate all the hard work you've put in. Just learn from it and move forward. Thanks for the pep talk. I needed a reminder not to let giving in to temptation discourage me. I'll get back on the wagon. That's the spirit. We all stumble, but the important thing is to keep going. When you're impatiently waiting for something to happen, it seems to take longer. I can't believe how long this meeting is taking. It feels like it's been going on forever. I know what you mean. It's like you watched Kettle Never Boils, right? Absolutely. I keep checking the time, and it seems to move in slow motion when I'm waiting for this to be over. Sometimes, the more you focus on the clock, the slower it seems to tick. I thought this meeting would be a quick one, but it's become a never-ending discussion. It's one of those situations where the more you anticipate it to end, the longer it feels. I can't help but wish we were already done and on to more productive tasks. Me too, but let's hang in there. It will eventually come to a close and then we can move on to other things. You're right. Let's try to stay engaged and make the best of it. After all, a watch kettle never boils, but it does boil eventually. Exactly. We'll get through this. And it will be just a distant memory. Going to the cinema. Are you up for catching a movie tonight? Sure, sounds good. Anything specific you want to watch? How about that new action flick everyone's talking about? Yeah, I heard it's pretty intense. What time does it start? The 7.30 p.m. show works for me. We can grab tickets on the way. Perfect. By the way, are you in the mood for popcorn? Absolutely, can't watch a movie without it. Large, with extra butter? 
You read my mind. And maybe a soda too? Sure, large popcorn and two sodas. Got it. Let's get tickets for the action movie at 7.30. Great. And let's go for seats in the middle. Got the tickets. Middle seats it is. Oh, and do you have the loyalty card? Yeah, here it is. Free popcorn on the next visit. Sweet. Ready for a good movie night? Absolutely. Let's grab some snacks and head in. I have to play my cards right. I heard you're up for a big promotion at work. That's exciting. Thanks. It's a great opportunity. But I have to play my cards right to secure it. What's your strategy for getting the promotion? Well, I've been taking on more responsibilities, and I'm working on a high-impact project to showcase my skills. I also need to network and build strong relationships with the decision makers that sounds like a solid plan. Is there any competition for the position? Yeah, a few of my colleagues are also in the running. So, it's essential to stand out. Do you think you have an edge over the others? I believe so, but you never know. It depends on how I perform in the coming weeks and how well I communicate my achievements. Confidence and preparation are key. I'm sure you'll do great. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll give it my all. This promotion would be a game changer for me. Just stay focused and remember, you have to play your cards right. I have faith in your abilities. I appreciate your support. I'll do my best to make it happen. It's not my cup of tea. Hey, are you coming to the art exhibit opening tonight? I heard about it, but I think I'll pass. Art galleries just aren't my cup of tea. Really? You've never been to one, have you? Well, not a traditional one, no. I've seen some art online, but I've never really been into the whole art scene. You might enjoy it more than you think. It's a chance to experience different perspectives and maybe find something you connect with. I get that, but I'm more of an outdoor person. Give me a hike or a music festival any day. Fair enough, everyone has their own interests. Maybe one day, you'll come with me. To a gallery, just to see if you change your mind. Who knows, maybe I'll surprise myself. But for now, I'll stick to what I know and love. That's perfectly fine. We all have our own cups of tea, so to speak. Enjoy your outdoor adventures. Thanks, and have a great time at the exhibit. It's easier said than done. You know, I've been thinking about finally starting that business I've always wanted. That's great to hear. What kind of business are you thinking of? I want to open a cozy little bookstore and cafe. You know, with comfy chairs, 
and a great selection of books. Sounds wonderful. But, you know, it's easier said than done. Starting a business is a lot of work. I'm aware of that. I've been doing my research, and I've got a business plan in the works. That's a good start, but don't forget about the financial side of things. It can be quite challenging to secure the necessary funding. I've been saving up for a while, and I'm also looking into small business loans. I know it won't be easy, but I'm determined to make it happen. Well, determination is a key ingredient for success. Just remember, it's a long and often bumpy road to get there. Thanks for the reality check, but I'm prepared for the challenges. I truly believe that in the end, it'll all be worth it. I admire your enthusiasm and dedication. I'll be here to support you every step of the way. I'm in the same boat. Oh, absolutely. I'm in the same boat. Work has been incredibly demanding, and I feel like I'm drowning in deadlines. Tell me about it. The boss dropped a massive project on my desk, and it's due by the end of the week. I don't even know where to start. Ugh, that sounds stressful. I've got this never-ending to-do list, and it seems like every time I cross one thing off, to more pop up. It's like we're sailing through a storm, and the waves just keep crashing in. And to top it off, my car broke down this morning. What a day. Seriously, that's terrible luck. I hope it's nothing too costly to fix. Yeah, I hope so too. It's just one of those times when everything seems to go wrong at once. But I guess we'll get through it, right? We always do. Absolutely. We'll weather this storm together. And hopefully, smoother seas are on the horizon. Things are looking up. Hey, how's it going? Pretty darn good, actually. Things are looking up. That's fantastic to hear. What's been going on? Well, you know that job I've been chasing for months. I finally got an offer. No way. That's amazing news. Congratulations. Thanks. It's such a relief. I was starting to lose hope. Persistence pays off, huh? Absolutely. And it's not just that. My side project is gaining some traction, too. I might have a little business on my hands soon. That's incredible. It sounds like everything is falling into place for you. Yeah, it really feels like that. And you know what? I've been hitting the gym regularly, and I'm in the best shape I've been in years. Well, you're on a roll. I'm genuinely happy for you. Thanks, friend. It's been quite the journey. But now I can confidently say that things are looking up. Well, you deserve all the success and happiness coming your way. Here's to your bright future. Cheers to that. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. About what? You seem lost. It's this new software our company wants us to use. I can't make heads or tails of it. I understand. Some software can be pretty confusing at first. Have you tried reaching out to it or reading any tutorials? 
Yeah, but it's all so technical. I'm not really tech savvy. Don't worry, you're not alone. Learning new technology can be a struggle for anyone. Maybe you can ask a coworker for some guidance? That's not a bad idea. There's this guy in the office who seems to be a tech whiz. I'll ask him for some help. That sounds like a plan. He might be able to break it down in a way that's easier to understand. I hope so. This new software is supposed to make our work more efficient, but right now, I'm just feeling overwhelmed. It's a learning curve, and it takes time. Just take it one step at a time, and you'll get the hang of it. Thanks for the support. I'll give it my best shot. You've got this. Don't be too hard on yourself. We all start somewhere. What a waste of time. I can't believe I spent the entire afternoon at that meeting. What a waste of time. I know what you mean. It felt like we accomplished nothing. Exactly. I had so much other work to do, and this meeting just ate up my entire day. It's frustrating when you have a busy schedule, and then meetings like that drag on without any clear outcomes. And it's not just work. I've been trying to fix that leaky faucet at home all morning. What a waste of time that turned out to be. Ugh, home repairs can be so frustrating. Did you manage to fix it in the end? Nope. I gave up and called a plumber. Sometimes, it's just better to leave it to the professionals. I can relate. I once tried to assemble a piece of furniture for hours, and it ended up all wrong. Had to take it apart and start over. It's those moments when you think, why did I even try? What a waste of time and effort. Well, at least we can commiserate about it. Sometimes, sharing these frustrating experiences makes them a bit more bearable. That's true. It's good to know I'm not alone in feeling like some things are just a waste of time. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have everything your way. There are trade-offs. You know, I've been thinking about taking that job offer in the other city. It's a great opportunity, but it means leaving behind everything I have here. It's a big decision, for sure. But remember, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'd have to choose between the new job and all the things I've built here. Sometimes, in life, you have to make tough choices. What matters most to you right now? Well, the job is a fantastic opportunity for my career. But I also have deep roots here and great friends. It's a classic case of, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If you stay, you might wonder what could have been in that new job. If you leave, you may miss what you had here. It's such a hard decision to make. I wish there was a way to have both. We all do. But ultimately, you have to prioritize what's most important to you at this point in your life. Thanks for your perspective. It's a lot to think about, and it helps to talk it out. Anytime. Just remember, whatever choice you make, it's a step toward your goals, even if it means leaving behind some cake. It's not worth it.
I've been thinking about taking that job offer in a different city. Really? That's a big move. Are you sure it's worth it? Well, I've weighed the pros and cons. And I'm starting to think it might not be worth it. What's holding you back? The cost of living there is so high. And the commute would be a nightmare. I'd be spending more time at work and in transit than with my family. It sounds like a tough decision. And if it's not worth sacrificing your quality of life, maybe you should reconsider. That's what I'm leaning toward. Sometimes it's better to have stability and be happy where you are rather than chasing after something that might not bring the satisfaction I'm hoping for. It's essential to prioritize your well-being and work-life balance. Not every opportunity is worth the sacrifices it demands. I appreciate your input. It's just become clear that this move might not be worth it in the grand scheme of things. I think you're making a wise choice, focusing on what truly matters in the long run. I'm in seventh heaven. You seem incredibly happy today. What's going on? I'm in seventh heaven. I just got the news that I got the job I've been dreaming about for years. That's amazing. I can see the excitement in your eyes. Tell me all about it. It's the perfect opportunity and it aligns with everything I've ever wanted in my career. The company culture, the team, the role, it's like a dream come true. I can tell you've put in a lot of hard work to get to this point. It's so rewarding when your efforts pay off like this. Absolutely. I've worked tirelessly and faced setbacks, but I never gave up. And now it's all coming together. You totally deserve this. And I'm genuinely thrilled for you. When do you start? I start in a few weeks and I can't wait to dive in. It's going to be an incredible journey. Well, enjoy every moment of it. You're on top of the world, and this is just the beginning of something wonderful. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without your support and encouragement. I'm beyond grateful for everything. It's on the house. We've been coming to this restaurant for years, and the food is always amazing. I know, it's one of our favorite places. And you can't beat the service either. Speaking of service, do you remember that time when the manager comped our... Meal? Oh yeah, that was so unexpected. It's rare for restaurants to do that. I wonder if it was just a one-time thing or if they still do it. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's ask the server if there are any special offers today. Good idea. If there's a chance we can get our meal on the house, I'd love to save some money. Hello there. Is everything tasting good? Absolutely, the food is excellent as always. By the way, do you have any special promotions or offers today? Actually, we do. Today, dessert is on the house for all our loyal customers. Enjoy. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. We've been coming here for years and the service just keeps getting better.
Fall back, retreat or withdraw from a position. The negotiations with the client didn't go as planned. We might need to consider a different approach. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Should we fall back and regroup before the next meeting? I think that's a wise move. Falling back temporarily might give us the chance to reassess our strategy and come up with a stronger plan. Let's schedule a team meeting to discuss the fallback plan and see where we can make improvements. Agreed. We need to be prepared for any challenges. Falling back doesn't mean giving up, it's just a tactical retreat. True! Falling back strategically can sometimes lead to a more successful advance later on. And it's important to communicate the fallback plan to the team so everyone is on the same page. I'll send out a memo about the fallback strategy and set up the team meeting. We need everyone's input to ensure a smooth transition. Thanks. Let's use this opportunity to regroup, address any weaknesses, and then come back stronger. Absolutely. Falling back now is a strategic move that can set us up for success in the long run. Train. Did you catch the train this morning? Yeah, barely made it. Running late as usual. Story of our lives. How's work been? Crazy busy. The project deadline got moved up, and now everyone's scrambling. Ugh, that sounds stressful. Anything I can do to help? Nah, just need to power through. By the way, did you see the news about the train delays tomorrow? Seriously? I can't deal with more delays. I have that meeting at 9. Yeah, better leave early. And speaking of meetings, did you get a chance to review the agenda for Friday? Not yet. I was swamped with emails. What's on it? Just the usual updates. But there's that new proposal we need to discuss. I'll send it over. Great. I'll check it out tonight. Maybe we can grab lunch tomorrow and go through it. Sounds good. Let's aim for that. Anyway, here's my stop. Catch you later. Absolutely. Good luck with the rest of the day. Seeing the doctor. Hi, I have an appointment with Dr. Anderson at 10.30. Great. Can I have your name, please? It's Alex Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Please fill out this form with your current symptoms and any medications you're taking. Sure, here you go. Do you know how long the wait is? It shouldn't be too long. The doctor is running on schedule today. Have a seat and we'll call you when it's your turn. Thanks. By the way, do you know if Dr. Anderson has the results from my last blood test? Let me check. 
Yes, the results are in. Doctor, Anderson will go over them during your appointment. Perfect. Anything I should know before seeing the doctor. Just be prepared to discuss your symptoms and any concerns you have. Doctor, Anderson will take it from there. Got it. Thanks for the info. I would love to. Hey, there's this new art exhibition opening downtown this weekend. Would you like to go? Oh, I would love to. I've been wanting to check out some new art lately. That's great to hear. The exhibit is supposed to feature some really unique and thought-provoking pieces. Awesome. I've been feeling like I need some inspiration lately, so this sounds perfect. And after the exhibition, there's a cozy little cave nearby that serves the best pastries. How about we grab a coffee and a sweet treat afterward? That sounds like the perfect plan. I love trying out new cakes, especially when they have delicious pastries. It's a date then, Saturday afternoon. We'll immerse ourselves in art and indulge in some scrumptious treats. I'm looking forward to it already. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. I knew you'd be up for it. It's going to be a fantastic day. It sure sounds like it. I can't wait for the weekend now. Well, at least things couldn't get worse. Ugh, what a day. Everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. I feel you. It's like a comedy of errors. Seriously, it's been one disaster after another. At least things couldn't get worse, right? Don't say that. You might jinx it. Well, maybe a little reverse psychology will do the trick. I hope so. We could use some positive vibes right now. Yeah, I mean, it's got to get better from here, doesn't it? Let's hope so. I can't handle any more surprises today. Agreed. Maybe we should just take a deep breath, grab a coffee, and regroup. That's a good idea. Sometimes, you just need a moment to reset. And hey, no matter how bad it seems, we always find a way to get through it, right? You're absolutely right. We're resilient, and we'll tackle whatever comes our way. That's the spirit. So, coffee. Coffee it is. And here's to hoping the day takes a turn for the better. When pigs fly, something that is highly unlikely to happen. Hey, did you hear? They're saying that the boss is giving everyone a raise next month. Seriously? I'll believe it when pigs fly. I know, right? It does sound too good to be true. We've been hoping for a raise for ages, but it's always been just talk. Yeah, it feels like they dangle that carrot in front of us, but it never really happens. So, have you seen any flying pigs around the office? Not a single one. And I've been looking out the window just in case. Haha, <laughs> well, it's probably just another rumor. 
I won't get my hopes up until I see a flying pig myself. Agreed. I'll believe it when I see it. In the meantime, we should focus on our work and not count on any windborne porkers. Absolutely. It's a classic one pig's fl scenario, I guess. And that's probably how it will remain a scenario. Take away, remove or subtract something. I reviewed the budget for the project, and I think we need to make some adjustments. What do you suggest? We might have to take away some funds from the marketing budget and allocate them to research and development. The current allocation seems imbalanced. Hum, I see your point. But won't that affect our promotional efforts? It might, but we need to prioritize product improvement. In the long run, a better product will benefit us more than flashy marketing. Fair enough. Let's take away, say, 15% from marketing and redirect it to our end. What about the sales team budget? I propose we take away a small percentage from there as well. The sales team has been performing well, but we need to ensure a balanced distribution for overall growth. Agreed. Let's implement these changes and monitor the impact over the next quarter. Sounds like a plan. We'll review the results and adjust further if needed. It's crucial to be flexible with the budget to adapt to changing priorities. Absolutely. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Let's keep the lines of communication open for any future adjustments. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Achieving something often requires sacrifices or hardships. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't believe I made a mistake on that important report. It's going to be a hassle fixing it. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know what they say. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. I get it, but I was hoping for a smooth process. Now, it's going to take extra time to correct my errors. Well, mistakes happen, and there are opportunities to learn and improve. True, but it's frustrating. I wanted everything to go perfectly. Perfection isn't always attainable, and sometimes, it's through challenges and missteps that we develop our skills. You're right. I just need to roll up my sleeves and get to work fixing this. That's the spirit. Remember, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. In the end, it'll be a learning experience. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll turn this setback into a chance to grow. That's the attitude. You've got this. I appreciate your support. It makes the process a bit easier to digest. Anytime. Just keep in mind that even the best chefs break a few eggs now and then. Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to save her. I've got my own. It's a roller coaster of emotions. How are you holding up after everything that's happened this week? It's been a roller coaster of emotions, to be honest. I'm still trying to process it all. I can only imagine. 
From the highs to the lows, it's been quite a ride. How are you feeling right now? Right now, I'm just relieved that it's over. The stress was overwhelming, but at least we made it through. Yeah, it was a tough situation, and you handled it well. But it's also understandable to feel a mix of emotions. I had moments of frustration, then moments of hope, and now, just gratitude that it's resolved. Emotions can be complex, especially when dealing with challenges. But you've shown strength throughout. Thanks. It means a lot to have your support and understanding during this roller coaster. Of course, I'm here for you through all the UPS and downs. That's what friends are for. I appreciate that more than words can express. It helps me navigate these emotional twists and turns. And remember, life is like a roller coaster. It's the exhilarating and challenging moments that make the ride worthwhile. You're absolutely right. I'm ready for the next loop, whatever it may bring. Just let it go. I can't believe what Tom said during the meeting today. It was completely unfair. I understand your frustration, but maybe it's best to just let it go. Let it go. He needs to be called out for his behavior. I get that, but escalating the situation might not lead to a positive outcome. Sometimes, it's better to choose your battles. But if I don't say something, He'll think it's okay to treat people like that. You can address it without escalating it into a confrontation. Maybe talk to him privately and express your concerns. I suppose you're right. It's just hard to let it slide when he's so out of line. I understand, but remember, you have the power to control how you react. Sometimes, holding on to anger only ends up hurting you in the long run. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll take your advice and approach it calmly and professionally. That's a good plan. And if it doesn't resolve the issue, you can always consider involving a supervisor or HR. Thanks for being the voice of reason. I appreciate your advice. Anytime. Sometimes, it's best to just let it go and focus on finding a constructive solution. It's the elephant in the room. So, we need to talk about the budget for next quarter. Yeah, I guess we do. It's the elephant in the room, isn't it? Absolutely. We've been avoiding this for a while now. Well, the numbers don't look good, and we have to figure out how to cut costs without affecting our projects. I agree, but we can't keep ignoring the issue. We need to address it head on. I know, it's just, it's such a difficult conversation to have. It is, but the longer we put it off, the worse it'll get. We can't let this elephant continue to grow. You're right. Let's schedule a meeting. And bring in the team to brainstorm ideas. We all need to be on the same page. That's a good plan. Transparency and collaboration are key in this situation. And we should be open about the challenges we're facing. It's the only way we can find a solution. Agreed. It won't be easy, but it's necessary. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room and work through it together.
I can't complain. How's everything going with your new job? You know, I can't complain. It's been a great experience so far. That's wonderful to hear. What do you like most about it? Well, the work is challenging, but the team is fantastic. I've learned a lot in a short time. That's a real plus. How's the work-life balance? Surprisingly good. They're big on maintaining a healthy work-life balance here, and it's made a huge difference in my life. And the commute? I remember you used to spend hours stuck in traffic. Not anymore. I moved closer to the office, so my commute is a breeze. Sounds like a complete turnaround. Anything you're not happy with? Honestly, I can't think of anything. I'm feeling grateful for this opportunity. That's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. And how about you? How's everything on your end? I can't complain either. Life's good. And I'm looking forward to some exciting new projects. That's great to hear. It seems like we're both in a good place right now. Thank you. I wanted to express my gratitude for your help the other day. You don't have to thank me. I was happy to assist. What's friends for, right? Still, it meant a lot to me. Your support made a significant difference. Well, I'm here whenever you need a hand or a listening ear. That's what friendship is all about. Thank you for being such a reliable and caring friend. I feel truly blessed to have you in my life. The feeling is mutual. Your friendship means a lot to me too. It's not just about the recent help. You've been there for me through thick and thin. That's what friends do, isn't it? We support each other, no matter what. You're absolutely right. I just wanted to take a moment to let you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you for saying that. It warms my heart to know that our friendship is valued. It certainly is, and I look forward to many more shared moments and adventures together. Me too, my friend. Thank you for being a wonderful part of my life. I'm at a loss for words. I heard about the accident. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's just, I'm at a loss for words. It all feels surreal. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through. If there's anything I can do to help, or if you want to talk, please don't hesitate. That means a lot. I'm just struggling to process everything right now. It's like a nightmare. Grief can be overwhelming. It's okay not to have the right words. Sometimes just being there is enough. I appreciate your presence. It's comforting to have friends who care. You're not alone in this. Lean on your loved ones and we'll support you through this difficult time. I will, and I'm grateful for all the support I've been getting. It's just hard to accept that they're gone. Take your time to grieve and remember, 
It's okay to feel lost for words. Your feelings are valid. Thank you for understanding. I'll get through this, one day at a time. Look down on, have a low opinion of someone or something. Have you noticed how the new team member is being treated in meetings? Yeah, it's hard not to see. Some of the senior members seem to look down on her ideas. It's a shame. She's got valuable insights, but they dismiss her contributions without giving them a fair chance. I think it's because she's newer to the industry, and they might be looking down on her because of her lack of experience. That's not fair. Everyone starts somewhere and she brings a fresh perspective to the table. I completely agree. I've tried to encourage her and let her know that not everyone looks down on her ideas. It's essential for the team to foster a supportive environment. Looking down on someone based on their experience level only stifles creativity and collaboration. I'll continue to support her and help bridge the gap. Maybe we can change the perception of her ideas within the team. That's a good approach. It's crucial to challenge the tendency to look down on others and promote a culture of inclusivity and respect. Drugstore Excuse me, do you know where I can find pain relievers? Sure, I'll for right over there. Thanks. While I'm here, do you know if you carry gluten-free toothpaste? Yes, we have a section dedicated to gluten-free products. It's in all six. Perfect. And by any chance, do you know if there are any discounts or sales today? The sales flyer is near the entrance. You might find some good deals there. Great. I'll check it out. Oh, and I need to print some photos. Is there a photo kiosk in the store? Yes, it's at the back near the pharmacy. Just follow the signs. Thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Finding everything okay. Yes, thanks. I have everything I need. That's great. Anything else I can assist you with? No, I'm good. Just heading to the checkout now. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks again for your help. Turn down, decline an offer or lower the volume. Did you hear back from the job interview? Yeah, they offered me the position, but I had to turn it down. Really? I thought that was your dream job. What happened? It is, but the salary they offered was way below what I expected. I couldn't accept such a significant pay cut. That's understandable. It's essential to know your worth and not settle for less. Exactly. I had to turn down the offer but I'm hoping something better comes along soon. I'm sure it will. 
You have the skills and experience, and the right opportunity will come your way. Thanks for the support. It was a tough decision, but I believe it's for the best in the long run. In the meantime, if you need any help with the job search or preparing for interviews, I'm here for you. I appreciate that. Let's grab a coffee sometime and catch up. I could use some advice on navigating this job market. Absolutely. I'll turn down the volume on my schedule and make time for it. Just let me know when you're free. Take after, resemble a family member in appearance or behavior. Your son is growing up so fast. Does he take after you or his mom? It's interesting. Physically, he's starting to take after me. But personality-wise, he seems to take after his mom more. That's a nice balance. What traits do you see in him that are like you? Well, he's got my curly hair and the same blue eyes. People often say he looks just like I did at his age. It's always amusing when kids resemble one parent more than the other. How about his interests or hobbies? He's definitely into sports, just like I was at his age. Soccer and basketball seem to be his favorites. That's great. And the personality traits from his mom. He's got her patience and kindness. Sometimes, I'm amazed at how understanding he can be just like her. Sounds like the best of both worlds. It's fascinating to see how children take after their parents in various ways. Absolutely. It's like watching a mix of our genes and personalities come to life in a new generation. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. This decision is clear as day. I mean, who wouldn't want to go on a beach vacation in the middle of winter? Exactly. The all-inclusive deal with the spa and fine dining included. It's practically a dream come true. And the best part is, we've both been working non-stop. We deserve this break. No doubt about it. It's high time we unwind and soak up the sun. I checked the reviews, and the resort has a fantastic reputation. Everyone raves about the service and the beautiful beach. That's reassuring. I was a bit skeptical at first, but you've put my mind at ease. Plus, it's a direct flight, so we won't have to deal with layovers and long travel times. Convenience is key, and this trip has it all. I'm in. Great! I'll book it today. We'll be sipping cocktails on the beach before we know it. Can wait. Thanks for making this an easy decision, my friend. It's all good. Hey, I heard about that project you were worried about. How did it go? Oh, it's all good. We wrapped it up yesterday, and the client was really happy with the results. That's awesome news. I know you were stressed about it for a while. Yeah, I was, but sometimes the pressure pushes you to do your best work. 
True, true. Speaking of work, how's the new team you're on? It's been fantastic. I've got a great bunch of colleagues, and we're clicking really well. It's all good there. That's fantastic to hear. And what about your recent move to the new apartment? It's been a smooth transition. Got everything settled in, and the new place feels like home now. It's all good on that front, too. It sounds like you're in a really good place right now. I am. Life has its UPS and downs, but right now, it's all good, and I'm enjoying every moment. Well, I'm really happy for you. Keep riding that wave of positivity. Thanks, and you too. It's all good when we catch up like this. Taking a cruise. Hi, do you know where we check in for the cruise? Yes, the check-in counter is right over there. Just follow the signs. Great, thanks. By the way, have you been on this cruise line before? Yeah, a couple of times. It's a pretty good experience. The food is great, and they have some nice shore excursions. That's good to hear. I hope the weather holds up for the entire trip. Fingers crossed. The forecast looks decent, but you never know. True. Oh, speaking of which, do they have any themed nights or special events on board? They usually do. Check the daily schedule they'll give you. There might be a formal night, a deck party, and some other events. Got it. I'll make sure to grab the schedule. How about WIFE on the ship? They have it, but it can be a bit pricey. If you don't mind being offline for a while, it's a good opportunity to disconnect. Fair point. I could use a break from screens. Thanks for the tips. No problem. Enjoy the cruise. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Will do. Have a great trip too. I'm in a pickle. Hey, I need your advice. I'm in a pickle. Oh no, what's going on? What's got you in a pickle? Well, I promised to help organize the school fundraiser, but I've also got that work project due on the same day. Yikes, that does sound like a tough spot. How can I help? I'm thinking of asking my coworker to cover for me at work that day, but I'm worried about letting my team down. That's a tricky situation. Have you talked to your boss about it? Not yet, but I think I should. I just hope they'll understand. It's worth a shot, and maybe your coworker can manage your responsibilities while you're at the fundraiser. Teamwork, right? True, it's all about balance. I don't want to let down the school either. Thanks for listening and helping me figure this out. Of course, you're not alone in this. Sometimes we all find ourselves in a pickle, but with a little support and some tough decisions, you'll get through it. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. I'll talk to my boss and my coworker. Hopefully, it all works out in the end. Show off, display one's abilities or possessions.
Have you seen Mike's new sports car? He's been showing it off all over social media. Yeah, I noticed. It seems like he's really proud of it. Did he get a good deal? I think so. He's been saving up for a while, and he finally decided to splurge on something he's always wanted. Well, he certainly knows how to show off his success. It's a pretty impressive car. I heard he's planning to take it to the office next week. Probably going to show it off to everyone there too. Nothing wrong with a little show off, I suppose. If I had a car like that, I might do the same. True. It's human nature to want to show off our achievements. Hey, did you see the pictures of his recent vacation too? Yeah, he really knows how to live it up. But hey, if you work hard, why not show off the rewards? Agreed. I just hope he doesn't go overboard with the show off. It could rub some people the wrong way. As long as he's not being too flashy, I guess it's all in good fun. Everyone likes to show off a little success now and then. It's the same old story. I talked to my neighbor again today. You won't believe what happened. Oh, really? What's the scoop this time? It's the same old story with him. His dog keeps digging up my garden, and he won't do anything about it. Ugh, that's frustrating. I thought you talked to him about it before. I did multiple times. He promises to fix the fence or keep the dog on a leash. But nothing changes. Sounds like a broken record. What are you going to do now? I don't know, but I'm getting tired of this. I might have to involve the homeowners association or even consider legal action. It's a shame it has to come to that. But if he's not taking your concerns seriously, you might not have many options left. Yeah, it's just exhausting dealing with the same issue over and over. I understand. It's frustrating when people don't take responsibility for their actions. I just wish it weren't the same old story every time. Post Office They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck Hi, I need to send this package to New York How much would it cost? Sure, let me weigh it Okay, it's three pounds Going with standard shipping Yes, that should be fine For a package of this weight and size It'll be $15.50 for standard shipping is that okay? Sounds good. Do I need any special packaging, or can I use this box? The box is fine, but make sure it's securely sealed. We also offer free priority mailboxes if you prefer. I'll stick with this one. And is there a tracking option? Yes, for an additional $2, you can add tracking. Would you like to include that? Sure, let's do that. Can I pay with a card? Of course. Just insert your card into the terminal and follow the prompts. Done. Anything else I need to know? Nope, you're all set. Here's your receipt with the tracking number. Your package should reach New York in about three to five business days. Great, thanks for your help. No problem. Have a good day. Fuck, I'ma keep chasing. I got this potential this deep inside. Let down disappoint someone or fail to meet their expectations.
I heard the client wasn't happy with the last project delivery. What happened? Unfortunately, there were some unexpected issues, and we couldn't meet the deadline. I hate to admit it, but I think I let them down. It's crucial to communicate challenges early on. Letting them down without any warning only makes it worse. I know, I should have been more proactive. I just didn't want to admit that we were falling behind. Transparency is key in these situations. Clients appreciate honesty, even if it's not the news they want to hear. I'll keep that in mind for the future. I feel terrible about letting them down. It happens, but the important thing is to learn from it. What's your plan to address the client's concerns now? I'm putting together a comprehensive report explaining the challenges we faced, how we're addressing them, and a revised timeline. Hopefully, it helps rebuild their trust. Good approach! Taking responsibility and showing a commitment to making things right can sometimes mitigate the impact of letting someone down. I hope so. I'll do everything I can to make it up to them and avoid letting them down in the future. Keep after, persistently remind or urge someone to do something. Have you finished that report I asked for last week? Oh, I haven't had a chance to work on it yet. It slipped my mind. I need you to prioritize it. We can't delay it any longer. I'll keep after you until it's done. I understand the urgency. I'll make it a priority this week. It's crucial for the upcoming meeting. I can't stress enough how important it is. I appreciate the reminder. I need someone to keep after me sometimes to stay on track. I'm here to support you, but we can't afford any delays. Can I expect a draft by midweek? Yes, you can. I'll work on it diligently and have it ready for review by Wednesday. That's what I like to hear. I'll hold you to that. I'll keep after you until we have a solid draft. I appreciate your persistence. It helps me stay focused. I won't let you down. Good to hear. Let's get that report done and make sure it meets our standards. Warranty Never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up If I do so Hey, I've been having issues with my laptop I think it's still on the warranty Oh, that's not good. When did you purchase it? I got it about nine months ago, so it should still be covered. All right. Do you have the receipt and the warranty card? Yeah, I've got them right here. Perfect. Let me take a look. Yep, it seems like it's still under warranty. What's the problem you're experiencing? The screen flickers sometimes and the battery doesn't seem to hold a charge like it used to. Got it. We can process a warranty claim for you. Just fill out this form, and we'll take care of the rest. Thanks. How long does the process usually take? It varies, but you should hear back from our service department within a week. They'll guide you through the next steps. All right. I appreciate your help. Hope it gets sorted soon. No problem. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Take care. Make out with, kiss and engage in romantic or intimate activity with someone.
Did you see Jake and Emma at the party last night? Yeah, they were pretty inseparable. It looked like they were making out in the corner for quite a while. Seriously? I thought they were just friends. Did they finally confess their feelings for each other? I guess so. It was hard to ignore the way they were making out. It seems they've taken their relationship to the next level. I had no idea. They've been spending a lot of time together lately, but I didn't think it was anything romantic. Well, actions speak louder than words, right? It was pretty clear they weren't just catching up as friends. I wonder if this will change the dynamics within our friend group. It's possible. Things can get a bit complicated when people start making out within the same social circle. True. I just hope it doesn't lead to any awkwardness or drama. Let's give them some space and see how things unfold. Hopefully, it won't affect the group dynamics too much. Keep at, continue doing something diligently. How's your new workout routine going? It's challenging, but I'm determined to get fit. I've been keeping at it every day. That's great to hear. Consistency is key when it comes to fitness. How do you stay motivated? I set small goals for myself and celebrate achievements along the way. It helps me stay focused and motivated to keep at it. Smart approach. I've been trying to learn a new language, but it's tough to stay consistent. Any tips on how to keep at it? Find resources that make learning enjoyable. Whether it's language apps, books, or conversations, make it a part of your daily routine. That way, you'll naturally keep at it. Good advice. I tend to lose interest after a while. It happens. Just remind yourself why you started. Keeping at it even when it gets tough is what leads to success. You're right. I'll give it another shot and try to make it a consistent part of my day. That's the spirit. Don't give up, and you'll see progress over time. Just keep at it. Find fault with, criticize or complain about something. I heard the boss wasn't happy with the last project presentation. Did they find fault with our work? Yeah, unfortunately. They found fault with the way we presented the data and thought we missed some key points. That's frustrating. Did they provide any specific feedback or did they just find fault without offering solutions? A bit of both, I guess. They found fault with our analysis methods and suggested we go back and reevaluate before the final presentation. I hate it when they find fault without acknowledging the effort we put into it. Tell me about it. It's demotivating when all they do is find fault instead of appreciating the hard work the team puts in. Maybe we should schedule a meeting to discuss the feedback and find out exactly what they're looking for. That's a good idea. It's important to address their concerns and find common ground to avoid them continually finding fault with our work. Agreed. Let's set up a meeting and try to find solutions to their concerns. Hopefully, it will help improve the overall project perception. Sounds like a plan. Let's find a way to turn their feedback into constructive actions.
I have to stick to my guns. So, you've been in negotiations with the client, right? Yeah, it's been quite a process. But I have to stick to my guns on this deal. I've heard they're trying to get a major discount. Are you considering it? They are, but we've already offered them a fair price. Giving them more of a discount would compromise our bottom line. I understand, but what if they threaten to go to a competitor? If that's the case, I'll have to stand my ground and emphasize the unique value our product brings. We can't start a race to the bottom on pricing. It's a tough position to be in, but I respect your determination. Thanks. I appreciate that. Sometimes, you have to be firm to protect the company's interests. Have you discussed this with your higher UPS? Maybe they can provide some guidance. I have, and they support my decision to hold firm on this. It's a delicate situation, but... We have to maintain our pricing integrity. Well, I hope it all works out in your favor. Sticking to your guns can be challenging, but it's often the right choice in the long run. I agree. I'll stay steadfast and see it through. Gas station. Hi. I need to fill up on pump three. Sure thing. Regular or premium? Regular, please. How are the gas prices today? They've been fluctuating, but regular is $3.25 a gallon. Ouch! It's getting expensive. Anyway, fill it up. Will do. While I'm at it, any snacks or drinks for you from the store? Yeah, grab me a bottle of water and a bag of those pretzels. Got it. Anything else? Nah, that's it. How's your day been so far? Not bad. Just the usual. A bit slow today. How about yours? Can't complain. Work, errands, you know how it goes. I hear you. Alright, your tank's full. And here's your receipt. Anything else I can help with? No, thanks. Have a good one. You too. Safe travels. It's the real deal. I can't believe it's finally happening. We're signing the papers today. Yeah, it's the real deal. After all the searching and planning, this is it. I'm excited but also a bit nervous. It's a big commitment. It is, but I've never been more sure about anything in my life. This is our dream home. I know, and the thought of making memories here is so special. I can already picture our family gatherings, cozy nights by the fireplace, and that beautiful garden. I can't wait to turn this place into our own little sanctuary. Me neither. It's going to be a lot of work, 
but it's the kind of work I'm looking forward to. And we'll do it together, every step of the way. That's what makes it even more special. It's not just a house, it's a home where our life together truly begins. I love you, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. It's the real deal, and I couldn't be happier. I love you too, and I can't wait to start this incredible journey with you in our very own home. I can't help it. There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I can't help it What's going on? You seem upset It's this book I'm reading I know, I should be getting some sleep but I can't put it down. Ah, the classic page-turner dilemma. What's the book about? It's a suspense thriller, and every chapter ends with a cliffhanger. I just have to know. What happens next? Well, you're not alone in that struggle. I've been there too. Just remember to set a timer or something to avoid staying up all night. That's a good idea. I have to be up early tomorrow, but this story is too gripping. I completely understand. Sometimes, a book is so engaging that sleep takes a backseat. It's like I'm caught in a reading trance. The characters and plot are so vivid. Sounds like you've found a real gem. Enjoy it while it lasts, but don't forget to get some rest eventually. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to put it down after the next chapter. I can't help it right now, but I do need some sleep. Wise choice. Sweet dreams and happy reading. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this Feel for, sympathize or empathize with someone. I heard your dog passed away. I just wanted to say I feel for you. Losing a pet is never easy. Thanks. It's been tough. She was part of the family, you know. I appreciate you taking the time to feel for me. Of course. I've been through it too, and I know how hard it can be. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here. It means a lot. I didn't expect it to hit me this hard. But I guess it's different when you've had a pet for so long. Absolutely. Pets become like family members, and it's completely normal to feel such a strong connection. I feel for you during this difficult time. Your words really help. It's comforting to know that others feel for what I'm going through. Loss is never easy, whether it's a pet or a person. Take all the time you need, and remember, I'm here if you want to talk or share memories. Thanks, I appreciate your support. It's nice to have friends who can truly feel for you in times like these. I'm feeling on edge. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Hey, you seem a bit tense today. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm just feeling on edge. I've got this big presentation in an hour, and I can't shake off the nervousness. I totally understand. Presentations can be nerve-wracking, but you're well prepared, right? Yeah, I've practiced it a hundred times, but there's always that fear of messing up when you're in the spotlight. 
It's normal to have some jitters. Take a few deep breaths. And remember, you know your stuff. You've got this. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to calm down and focus. It's just that the pressure is getting to me. I get it. It happens to the best of us. Maybe try some relaxation techniques or visualize a successful presentation. It might help ease your nerves. That's a good idea. I'll give it a shot. And I appreciate your support. No problem. I'm here for you. After it's all over, you'll probably realize it wasn't as bad as you thought. I hope so. I'll do my best. Thanks again for understanding. Anytime. And remember, I'll be here to celebrate your success when it's done. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Look back on, reflect on, or think about the past. The company is celebrating its 10th anniversary next month. Can you believe it's been a decade already? Time really flies. It's a good opportunity to look back on how much we've achieved. Remember when we started in that small office space? It's incredible how much the team has grown since then. Yeah, those early days were challenging, but it's rewarding to look back on the progress we've made. The hard work paid off. And the projects we've completed, the challenges we've overcome, it's quite a journey to look back on. Absolutely. It's not just about the growth of the company, but the personal and professional growth we've experienced along the way. Any favorite memories or milestones that stand out to you when you look back on the past 10 years? The launch of our flagship product was a significant moment. It was a turning point for the company. I agree. As we prepare for the anniversary celebration, it's a great time to collectively look back on our achievements and set new goals for the future. It's a nostalgic but exciting process. Looking back on the past helps us appreciate the journey and look forward to what's next. Barber Shop. like a trim and a clean up on the sides. Sure thing. Have a seat. How short are we going on the sides? Just a short fade, not too high. Got it. And what about the top? Just a bit off the top, nothing drastic. All right. Do you want any styling or just a natural look? Just natural, please. And can you clean up the neckline too? Definitely. How's the length in the back? Just tidy it up, not too short. Perfect. So, the usual then. By the way, do you want any product in your hair? No, I'll pass on the product today. Okay, you're cool. Let's get started. All done. How's that? Looks great. Just what I wanted. Thanks. Anytime. You're set. See you next time. Thanks. Take care. Home decoration.
Hi, we're ready to order. Great, what can I get for you? I'll start with the shrimp cocktail appetizer, please. Sure, shrimp cocktail. And for the main course. I'll have the grilled salmon with a side of roasted vegetables. Excellent choice. How would you like your salmon cooked? Medium, please. Got it. And for you? I'll go with the Caesar salad to start. And the chicken alfredo for the main course. Caesar salad and chicken alfredo. Any modifications to the Caesar like adding grilled chicken? Yes, please. Grilled chicken on the Caesar salad. Noted. And how about the alfredo sauce for the pasta? Regular alfredo sauce is fine. Perfect. Anything to drink? I'll have a glass of the house white wine. I'll go with the sparkling water, please. All right, one glass of house white and sparkling water. I'll get that started for you. Car rental. Hi there, I have a reservation for a car pickup at 2 p.m. Great, can I have your name and reservation number, please? It's John Smith, and the reservation number is 123,456. Thanks, Mr. Smith. Ah, here it is. You're set for a mid-sized sedan. Will you need any additional insurance? No, I think I'm covered. Just the basic rental is fine. Perfect. And may I see your driver's license and a credit card for the security deposit, please? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're all set. The car is in spot B23. Just make sure to return it with a full tank. Any questions? No, I'm good. How about drop off? Any specific instructions? Just bring it back here and we'll check it in. We close at 6 p.m., but there's a drop box if you're returning it after hours. Got it. Thanks for the info. Enjoy your drive, Mr. Smith. Let us know if you need anything. Will do. Thanks. Reserving a table. Hi, I'd like to make a reservation for two tonight. Of course. What time were you thinking? Around 7 o'clock p.m., if possible. Sure thing. May I have a name for the reservation? It's under Smith. Great. You're all set for 7 o'clock p.m. tonight, under the name Smith. Will you need any special accommodations? No, just a regular table will be fine. Oh, and do you have outdoor seating? Yes, we do. Would you prefer an outdoor table? Yes, please. Weather's nice today. Noted. Outdoor table for two at 7 o'clock p.m. under the name Smith. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Welcome. You must be the Smiths. Your table is right this way. Thank you. Outdoor is perfect. Enjoy your meal. If you need anything, just let your server know. Will do. Thanks again. My pleasure. Have a wonderful evening. Fill up. Add fuel or liquid to a container until it's full.
The gas station is just around the corner. Need to fill up before we hit the road? Yeah, good idea. The fuel gauge is pretty low, and we don't want to risk running out in the middle of nowhere. I'll pull in. While we fill up, let's also grab some snacks for the journey. Sounds like a plan. I've got a water bottle that needs filling up too. Perfect. We can fill up the tank, our stomachs, and the water bottle all at once. Efficiency at its best. By the way, did you remember to grab the fuel rewards card? We might as well use it to get some points. Almost forgot. Thanks for the reminder. Let's make sure we fill up enough to get those extra discounts. Speaking of filling up, I also need to fill up my travel mug with coffee. Do you mind if we make a quick stop at the cave next door? Not at all. We'll fill up the coffee mug and then hit the road fully fueled and caffeinated. Great! This trip is starting to look like it's going to be a smooth ride. Especially after we fill up on everything we need. Ordering takeaway. Hi, I'd like to place an order for takeout. Sure, what would you like? I'll have the chicken pad thai, please, and a side of spring rolls. Got it. Chicken pad thai and spring rolls. Any specific spice level for the pad thai? Medium, please. All right. And for the spring rolls, do you prefer the vegetable or shrimp ones? Vegetable, please. Perfect. Anything to drink? A bottle of water will be fine. Noted. Your total comes to $18.50. How would you like to pay? I'll pay with my card. Great. Your order will be ready in about 20 minutes. You can pick it up at the counter. Thanks. Do you provide utensils and napkins? Yes, everything you need will be in the bag. Deal in, be involved in or trade in a particular type of goods or services. I heard you started a new business. What do you deal in? Yeah, I launched a small online store last month. Right now, I deal in handmade jewelry and accessories. That's interesting. How did you decide to deal in that niche? I noticed a gap in the market for unique, handmade pieces. So, I thought why not deal in something that stands out from the mass-produced stuff? Smart move. How's the response so far? Surprisingly good. People seem to appreciate the craftsmanship. It's rewarding to deal in products that have a personal touch. I see. So, where do you deal in sourcing your materials? I deal in getting most of my supplies from local artisans and small businesses. It helps me support the community while providing quality products. That's a great approach. It's not just about dealing in business, but also contributing to the local economy. Exactly. I wanted my business to deal in more than just transactions. It's about building connections and supporting the community. Well, best of luck with your venture. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Thanks. I appreciate that. 
It's always good to have friends who are willing to deal in support. Give out, distribute or provide something, often to multiple people. The event is tomorrow, and we still need to finalize how we're going to give out the promotional materials. Right. I was thinking we could set up a booth near the entrance and give out brochures to everyone as they come in. That's a good plan. We should also give out some free samples of our product to create more buzz. Agreed. Giving out samples is a great way to attract attention and get people interested in what we're offering. Have you decided who will be responsible for giving out the materials at the booth? I was thinking we could rotate the staff so that everyone gets a chance to give out material, s and engage with the attendees. Good idea! It's important that everyone on the team is involved in giving out information and creating a positive impression. Also, let's make sure to give out promotional codes or discounts to encourage people to visit our website or make a purchase excellent suggestion giving out incentives will drive more traffic and potentially lead to increased sales sounds like a solid plan i'll make a checklist to ensure we don't forget anything when giving out materials at the event tomorrow It's okay. I'm really sorry about the mix up with your birthday party last night. It was a total disaster. It's okay. Honestly, these things happen. We still had a good time, and that's what matters. Thanks for being so understanding. I feel terrible about the cake being delivered late and the decorations not arriving on time. Hey, it made for a memorable story. Plus, it gave us a reason to laugh and bond over the chaos. You're right. Sometimes, it's the unexpected moments that make life interesting. Absolutely. And honestly, I appreciate the effort you put into planning the party. It means a lot to me. Well, I'm glad you had a good time despite the hiccups. It's the people, not the perfection, that make a celebration special. So, it's all good. You've got a great attitude. Thanks for being so forgiving. Life's too short to dwell on little mishaps. Let's just cherish the memories we made last night. Agreed. Thanks for making it easier to let go of my perfectionist tendencies. Anytime, my friend. It's okay. Beauty Salon Hi, I have an appointment for a haircut and color at 2 p.m. Great! Could you please have a seat? Your stylist will be with you shortly. Thanks. I was thinking of getting a trim and adding some highlights. Nice choice! Any specific color in mind for the highlights? I'm thinking of a caramel or honey blonde shade. Perfect! I'll make a note of that. And how much are we trimming up today? Just about an inch to keep it healthy. Got it. Your stylist, Lisa, will discuss the details with you before starting. 
Do you need any magazines or something to drink while you wait? Water would be great, thanks. How do you like it? Wow, I love it. The color is exactly what I wanted, and the trim is perfect. I'm glad to hear that. If you need any products for maintenance, we have a selection up front. I'll take a look. Thanks for the great service. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day, and we hope to see you again soon. Definitely, thank you. It's not the end of the world. I can't believe I made that mistake at work. It feels like the end of the world. Hey, I get that it's frustrating, but remember, it's not the end of the world. But it's a crucial project, and I really let my team down. Mistakes happen to the best of us. It's how we learn and grow. What matters now is how you handle it and make amends. I suppose you're right, but I can't help feeling like I've messed up big time. Think about it this way, the world won't stop turning because of this. Your team is still there to support you, and you can fix this. Thanks for the pep talk. I just needed a bit of perspective. Absolutely. We all have our moments. It's the perseverance and learning from those moments that count. You're right. I'll own up to it, make the necessary corrections, and move forward. That's the spirit. And remember, it's not the end of the world. It's just a stepping stone in your career. Thanks for being so understanding. I appreciate it more than you know. Anytime. We're all in this together. You've got this. Pass up, miss an opportunity, or decline an offer. Did you hear about the job opening at the tech company? Yeah, I did. I actually passed up on applying. Really? Why? It seems like a great opportunity. Well, I've been considering going back to school, and the timing just didn't feel right. I didn't want to commit to a new job, and then have to quit shortly after. Understandable. But aren't you worried about missing out on a good career move? I thought about that too, but I believe education is the key for my long-term goals. I can't pass up the chance to further my skills. Fair enough. I guess we all have different priorities. What's your plan for school then? I've been researching programs and think I found a good fit. I'm going to apply and see where it takes me. Well, best of luck with that. If you ever change your mind about the job, let me know. They're still accepting applications. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll keep that in mind. It's the best of both worlds. been spending a lot of time in the city lately. How's that going for you? It's been fantastic, honestly. I feel like I've found the best of both worlds. What do you mean by the best of both worlds? Well, I have my job in the city, 
which is exciting and offers great opportunities. And on weekends, I can escape to the countryside to relax and recharge. That does sound amazing. City life during the week. And a peaceful retreat on the weekends. Exactly. I love the fast pace and energy of the city. But I also need the tranquility and nature of the countryside to stay balanced. It's like you've struck the perfect balance. It feels that way. I can have my career and social life and then escape to the countryside when I need a break. That's something many people dream of but never achieve. You're lucky to have found what works for you. I truly appreciate it, and I feel like I've found the best of both worlds. It keeps me motivated and fulfilled in different ways. I'm happy for you. It's important to have that kind of balance in life. Leaving a message. It's Sarah. I'm just calling to let you know I won't be able to make it to the meeting this afternoon. Got a family emergency to attend to. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah. I hope everything is okay. Thanks for letting me know about the meeting. Yeah, it's a bit hectic right now, but I'll catch up on the updates once things settle down. Please share my apologies with the team. Of course, I'll make sure to do that. Take care of what you need to, and we'll fill you in afterward. Thanks. I appreciate your understanding. If there's anything urgent, feel free to shoot me an email, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Will do. Family comes first. Don't worry about work for now. I'll keep you posted. Thanks again, and sorry for any inconvenience. No need to apologize, Sarah. Take care and let us know if you need anything. Will do. Bye for now. Get ahead of, outpace or surpass someone or something. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push the competition is fierce in our industry. How can we get ahead of our rivals? I've been thinking about that. We need to get ahead of the curve by investing in new technologies and staying updated with industry trends. That's a solid strategy. We can't afford to lag behind. How do you propose we get ahead of the technology game? We should establish partnerships with tech firms and get ahead of the competition by implementing innovative solutions before our rivals catch on. Good point. We also need to get ahead of the marketing game. Maybe revamp our advertising strategy to reach a wider audience. Agreed. It's essential to get ahead of the competition in both product development and marketing. That way, we stay ahead of the curve. I've heard they're launching a new product soon. We need to get ahead of them and release our upgraded version first. Absolutely. Let's gather a team to brainstorm ways to get ahead of their product launch and make ours the talk of the market. Proactive planning is key. If we can get ahead of our competitors in innovation and marketing, we'll secure a strong position in the market. I don't feel like it.
Hey, are you up for a hike this weekend? The weather is supposed to be great. Honestly, I don't feel like it. Really? You usually love hiking. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's not about that. I've just been feeling so drained lately, and the thought of a hike right now feels like a chore. I get it. We all have those days when we just don't have the energy. Maybe we could do something more relaxing instead? That actually sounds like a better plan. How about we grab some coffee and just chill at the park or something? That sounds perfect. Sometimes, it's important to listen to your body and do what feels right. Thanks for understanding. I appreciate it. No problem at all. We all have our moments. Plus, a leisurely afternoon at the park can be just as enjoyable. You're right. Let's go with that. Coffee and relaxation it is. Great. I'll text you the details. Just remember, it's okay to say no when you don't feel like it. Thanks for being so understanding. You're a good friend. Always here for you, buddy. Pass on, transmit or convey something to someone else. Did you get a chance to review the presentation slides I sent over? Not yet, sorry. I've been swamped with other tasks. Can you give me a quick rundown? Sure, I'll pass on the key points. We're focusing on the new marketing strategy and the upcoming product launch. The timeline is tight, so I need your input soon. Got it. I'll make it a priority to go through the slides today. Anything specific you want me to pay attention to? Yes, please pay extra attention to the budget projections and the proposed advertising channels. We need your expertise to ensure everything aligns with our goals. Will do. I'll pass on any suggestions or concerns once I've had a thorough look. Great, I appreciate your prompt attention to this. The team is counting on a seamless collaboration to make this launch successful. No problem. I'll pass on my feedback by the end of the day. Let's make sure everything is well coordinated for the presentation next week. Agreed. Thanks for your dedication to the project. Looking forward to your input. It's not your day. How are you feeling today? You look a bit down. Yeah, it's one of those days. It's just not my day, you know. I get that. We all have those days sometimes. Anything specific bothering you? Nothing major, just a series of small annoyances. I woke up late. Missed my bus. And then spilled coffee on myself. That does sound like a rough start. It happens to the best of us. Maybe things will get better as the day goes on. I hope so. It's just frustrating when it feels like nothing is going right. Remember, it's just one day and it doesn't define your week. Take a deep breath and try to find something positive to focus on. You're right. I'm probably making it a bigger deal than it is. I'll try to shake it off 
and make the best of the rest of the day? That's the spirit. Sometimes we just have to acknowledge that it's not our day, but it doesn't mean the whole day has to be a loss. Thanks for the pep talk. I'll do my best to turn things around. It's high time. You know, it's high time we tackled that home renovation project we've been talking about for years. You're absolutely right. The living room and kitchen desperately need an update. Plus, we could use that extra space after all this time working from home. Yeah, it's becoming a necessity. The clutter is driving me crazy. I've been looking at some design ideas. And I think it's finally time to make our vision a reality. Let's do it. We should get some quotes from contractors and start planning the budget. I'm on it. It's going to be a bit of an investment, but the value it'll add to our home is worth it. And we'll finally have a beautiful space to relax and entertain. I can already picture it. A cozy, modern living room and a spacious, functional kitchen. It's been a long time coming, but I'm excited. Let's make it happen. Agreed. It's high time we turned our house into the home we've always wanted. I couldn't agree more. Let's get this project started. Turn back, reverse direction or prevent progress. The road is blocked up ahead. Looks like we'll have to take a detour. Seriously? We're running late for the meeting, and now we have to turn back? I know it's frustrating, but there's no other option. The construction ahead is causing a major traffic jam. Can't we find another route without having to turn back completely? I checked the map, and it seems like the only feasible alternative is to turn back and take a different road. It might add some time but it's better than being stuck here. Fine, let's do it. We can't afford to be any later than we already are. I appreciate your understanding. Hopefully, this detour won't set us back too much. It's just one of those days, I guess. Things never go smoothly when you're in a hurry. Murphy's Law, right. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong, but we'll turn back, find another route, and get to the meeting eventually. Let's hope so. The sooner we turn back, the better our chances of salvaging some of the lost time. I'm out of my depth. I've been asked to lead this project, but I'm feeling completely out of my depth. I can understand that. It's a complex initiative, and you've got big shoes to fill. But remember, everyone starts somewhere. I know, but the pressure is intense. I'm worried I might make a mess of things. It's okay to feel that way initially. Take it one step at a time. Ask for help when needed. And most importantly, believe in yourself. You were chosen for a reason. Thanks, I appreciate your support. 
I just hope I can live up to the expectations. You will, and we're all here to support you. Don't be afraid to lean on your team and your mentors. They've got your back. I guess I need to remind myself of that. It's just a bit overwhelming right now. That's natural when you're stepping into something new and challenging. But with time and effort, you gain the experience and confidence you need. I hope so. I'll give it my best shot and rely on the team. Thanks for being understanding and encouraging. You've got this, and I'm here whenever you need a pep talk or some guidance. You're not alone in this journey. Take apart, disassemble something, often for repair or examination. My laptop's been acting up lately. I might have to take it apart to see what's going on. That sounds like a bit of a challenge. Have you done something like that before? Yeah, a couple of times. I'm fairly comfortable taking apart electronics. It's usually just a matter of figuring out which component is causing the issue. Impressive. I wouldn't even know where to start. It's not as intimidating as it seems. You just need the right tools and a bit of patience. What if you can't figure it out? Aren't you worried you might make it worse? It's a possibility, but I'd rather take it apart and try to fix it myself before shelling out money for professional repairs. Sometimes it's just a loose connection or something simple. Makes sense. Do you want any help with it? Sure, if you're up for it. Two sets of eyes can be better than one when trying to figure out what's wrong. All right, let's give it a shot. Taking apart a laptop could be an interesting challenge. Use your head, think and make smart decisions. I can't believe I lost my keys again. I've searched everywhere. Well, you know what they say, use your head, let's retrace your steps. When's the last time you remember having them? I think I had them when I was in the kitchen. I was making breakfast. All right, let's start there. Did you check the kitchen thoroughly? Yes, I did, but I'll give it another look. Maybe I overlooked them. And after the kitchen, where did you go? I went to the living room to watch TV. Hum, could they be under the couch cushions? Or on a side table there. I didn't check under the cushions. Let me take a look. While you do that, I'll check the kitchen again. Maybe they fell behind something. Great idea. I really need to use my head and pay more attention. Don't worry. It happens to the best of us. We'll find those keys. Found them. They were under the couch cushion. Thanks for helping me use my head. You're welcome. See? Sometimes the solution is right under your nose, or in this case, your seat. Asking for a directions. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the central station from here? Sure, it's pretty straightforward. You see that street over there? Head straight down for about three blocks. Okay, then what? Once you reach the third block, you'll see a big intersection with a traffic light. Take a left there. 
Got it, left at the traffic light. And after that? After the left, walk for another two blocks. You'll start seeing signs for the central station. Just follow them. Two blocks after the left? Sounds easy enough. Thanks. Is it a long walk? Not really, about 10 to 15 minutes. You can't miss the station, it's pretty big. Perfect. I appreciate your help. Oh, one more thing. Any good coffee places on the way? Absolutely. There's a nice cafe just before the intersection. They make a great cappuccino. Great. I could use a pick-me-up. Thanks again for the directions. No problem. Enjoy your walk and the coffee. I can't concentrate. Hey, I've been struggling to focus lately. I just can't seem to concentrate on anything. Oh, I totally get that. It happens to the best of us. What's been bothering you? Well, work has been crazy busy and I have this big project due next week. The constant distractions and stress are making it impossible to concentrate. I hear you. Have you tried any strategies to help with your concentration? Yeah, I've attempted some time management techniques, like the Pomodoro method, but my mind still wanders. Maybe it's time for a change of scenery. Have you considered working from a different location or taking a short walk to clear your mind? That's a good idea. I've been cooped up in my home office for too long. A change of environment might help. And don't forget to take breaks and practice some relaxation techniques, like deep breathing. Sometimes, it's just about giving your brain a moment to recharge. Thanks for the advice. I'll give it a try. It's nice to know I'm not alone in this struggle. You're definitely not alone. We all go through phases like this. Just take it one step at a time, and you'll find your focus again.